Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel Physics Sergi and in this new year I am very happy to announce a new series uh, to help out the students who are preparing for the JE mains especially the 2021 edition and in February it, I think there is a first shift for the JE mains examination so I was planning to help the students out in some form or the other through this channel okay so uh, what's the best preparation for JE mains physics okay so let's try to analyze the news that we know okay so i think je mains this time is going to be held over more number of cycles as compared to the last year and they have already announced that there would be huge number of uh, database of questions from which the uh, questions would be chosen for students sitting in different shifts uh, february march april and may okay so what does that mean it means in order to maintain parity over the different shifts and ensure that all the students get similar level of questions, there would be a lot of repetitions. These repetitions have been even seen in the previous exams also, like 2019, 2020, when NT has started conducting the examinations, the repetitions of questions have been reported and there are evidences which will be part of our series, obviously. I'll prove it to you that there are repetitions, but I am um, my, my uh, suggest, uh, my gut feeling says that there will be even more repetitions in this particular year. Okay, right. And also, I would like to clarify few misconceptions before I tell you what I'm going to take up in this series. Okay, so about the new model that they have announced that there is a choice. Okay, so does, does choice mean we can leave some chapters altogether in preparation? Out of 30 questions, I think you are supposed to answer 25 is what is going around in some quarters, but you should realize that the choice is only for the numerical uh, value question uh, section. That means the first 20 MCQ questions will not have any choice and the examiner is uh, free to ask uh, any of the topics. That means even the extra syllabus topics you cannot leave because if the question on let's say semiconductors is asked in the first 20 multiple choice question then you are supposed to answer. So the choice doesn't change anything. Actually it increases your competition. In, in a, a different sense, it, it might give you some kind of leeway in the exam in that particular section, but it does the same to the other students also. So it does increase the competition. Okay, right. So that's a very important thing. Will questions be repeated across shifts and from previous years? Answer is yes. Across shifts, they will get repeated. And also from previous years, they are going to get repeated. Okay, since across shifts, they are definitely going to repeat. Uh, most of the times the paper level across uh, format, uh, the months will be changing. That means usually it is seen that the February, that the first shift you'll end up having slightly easier level papers. And then as you move into the uh, uh, future months, the level of the papers, the selection of the questions, the algorithm way that it is set by the NTA, it is going to increase. And you have seen that even in the last year also, the January uh, shift had slightly easier questions and the sep September shift had slightly less the and slightly difficult questions okay so on an average i'm talking about and at national level any je examination whether it is mains or advanced once the postponement happens and you get more time to prepare je definitely makes the paper tougher so all the students out there always try to think um, or pray that the exams don't get postponed don't ask for postponement if you ask for postponement you are uh, asking for the papers to become tougher okay right so more preparation obviously so these are the few things that you need to take into account. So since uh, what are the uh, best sources for your last leg preparation Preparation in the order of priority? Let's say you have only 30 to 40 days to prepare. You've done enough of your uh, coaching and classwork and exams and all that. Still, what is the thing that you are not supposed to leave out before entering an exam? Okay, whether it is JE mains or advanced. And if you know me, you have uh, understood me, you, you, you do realize that I give lot of importance to the previous year's questions, whether it is mains or advanced. So the first priority is always the NTA conducted JE mains, uh, previous year's questions, 2019 and 20. The NTA started taking up the role of the examiner uh, from 19 and 20. So those two years, not uh, less number of papers are there. I think uh, 16 papers from uh, 2019 and 16 papers from 2020 themselves round up to a lot of number of questions. So that you are supposed to solve. That is the first priority. Without doing that, if you're entering your February shift or any other exam, then it is foolishness. Then 
you can also go ahead with the CBSE conducted JE mains from 2013 to 18, right? Going through all the papers within 40 days is difficult. So what I'm going to do in this series is select these two as the top priority, select the questions, give you the uh, uh, videos topic wise. So first video, let's say is on kinematics, which I've already prepared and uploaded the uh, that will contain all the best questions in sequence of topics so that I can explain the theory also and do the problems through that theory. Okay, so the first two would be the source for the, the series that I have just now announced. If you still have time and uh, you want to go, go ahead with a slightly more deeper preparation, NTA Abhyas app mock test, you need not download the app and write the test. You don't have time for that. You just type this one in your Google uh, search bar and you will end up getting enough resources where people have actually divided these mock tests, uh, somewhere around 100 mock tests are there. All those questions are divided topic wise. So you can go ahead and look at only the topic which you want to practice. For example, some of you get troubled by rotation. Then you only do rotation uh, part of this topic wise division of NTA Abhyas uh, mock test. So some of the questions from the NTA database are used in this. So there could be some repetitions from there. Not could be, there are, there have been repetitions last year also in the September shift. Okay, so, and fourth one is uh, must do. And this fourth one will also help you for your JU advanced preparation, which is NCRT exemplar MCQs. Again, this one you can download from the NCRT website itself. Okay, so the third and fourth, I'll try to do them in some other form in some other series, but the present series would be focused in the subtopics uh, and topic wise uh, uh, discussions and multiple method solutions. My idea is to give you the multiple methods to solve a problem so that you can start saving time in the exam and looking at a fresh perspective in a question so that you can crack it quickly in the exam. So that's the whole idea of that series. And how to go ahead with the extra syllabus practice then? Extra syllabus practice, I've already done some series of videos, uh, somewhere around five videos I have already done. And uh, the link of that playlist is in the description below. There I have used the NTA questions of January and April of 2019 and January of 2020. I'll add the September 2020 shift video also as we go along in this particular feature. So those, these two series, one, the usual mains preparation series and the extra syllabus series should be your go-to uh, for the uh, practice for the next 45 days is what I would request. So all this playlist is ready already. All the five videos are there, uh, the link of which is in the description below. So the format will be similar. I'll pick the best questions, most important ones, most repeated ones, and try to explain the concept and then the solution of the question. Okay, so you love it, just go through it, you'll understand. So what you should do, watch the demo video of uh, the kinematics topic that I have already uploaded in the JE mains revision series. Uh, where I have tried to debate the intriguing questions, provide you with multiple methods to solve a particular question and how to save time in certain questions. If ambiguities are there in the question, how to get out of it, um, how, why, how not to attempt a lengthy question and lose time. So these kind of things are debated across somewhere around 50 pages of explanation, somewhere around 50 minutes of or nearly one hour of a video. So just watch through that completely patiently go to the community tab on the channel. I have created a poll saying whether you want this series to continue or not, because it takes a lot of time to make these videos. So I'm estimating somewhere on 20 plus videos for the, all the topics of physics syllabus. Okay. Right. So starting with kinematics as topic one, somewhere on topic five would be your modern physics and uh, experiments and all that. Okay. So, so series will continue only once we reach the one K yes on the poll. I'm not asking for likes. Okay, so you need to tell me whether I can continue that particular series or not. Because if people don't want it and I don't want to waste time on that because I feel that it is very important, but the same feeling should be reciprocated from the students. So don't uh, do fake voting. Try to uh, share this thing and the demo video, especially in uh, your WhatsApp and study groups. Try to uh, gather some of your friends to watch this video and then you genuinely ask them to vote so that if once yeses are reached, I'm planning to uh, post the second video from January 10th onwards so that these eight to 10 days, whatever we get, um, I would uh, look at the poll and see what is the opinion of the students so that if I can continue the series or not. And if uh, it's no, not to be continued, don't worry. There are rest of the series that I will uh, put my energy into, right? Pathfinder solution. Even with this series, these series are going to run. 
So whether if I even do the JE main series, I'll put some extra effort and extra time. That's it. Okay. So the Pathfinder solution series, Olympiad workout, AATS select and resolve series, and some other uh, standard series, the JE advanced questions series, and many things that you can go and check the playlist if you're new. And if you're old, and uh, very familiar with my channel, you understand, I will keep uploading those also. That is not going to stop for any reason. Okay, so links of all these are in the description below. Try, if you're new, try to watch two or three videos of these series uh, per day and so that you get to know the quality or the content that I'm providing. So please do like and share this video and try to tell your uh, friends about what I have started just now before uh, February 20th, what I'm planning to achieve okay so um thank you for staying this long and i hope you will vote yes so that you can you know, motivate me that my hard work is not going to waste okay so uh, see you in the series then thank you